Rivian just introduced not one, not two, but three all new vehicles. The all new R2, not D2, R3 and R3X. Basically, they're the smaller Rivians. The R2 looks a lot like if you took a regular Rivian R1S and kind of shrunk it down to 75%. It's definitely a much smaller vehicle, but it still maintains that classic Rivian look. Now that's the car we were expecting to hear about. What we were not expecting at all was the all new R3. Now that car is based on the R2's platform, which is an all new platform for Rivian. It comes either rear wheel drive or there's a tri-motor setup with two in the back, one in the front. Rivian says with that new setup, plus its new, bigger battery, you should be able to get over 300 miles of range and do zero to 60 in less than three seconds. Really not too shabby. Personally, my favorite car that they unveiled is the R3X. I mean, just look at it. It is so cool looking. It do does it look a little bit like a Hyundai Ioniq 5 and a lot of Neva had a baby? Sure, but what a gorgeous baby it is. In terms of price, Honestly, we're not 100% sure yet. Rivian did say that the R2 is gonna come in at about 45 grand to start, and then the R3 and 3X are gonna be cheaper than it in terms of when it's gonna come out. I think 2026 is what they were saying, and then the R3 and R3X will be coming after that. So guys, you now know my thoughts on Rivian's trio of new vehicles. I think they are super duper cool and a really good move for a brand that could use a little bit more volume. But what do you think? Let me know down below. For all things Rivian, R1, R2, and R3, go to jalopnik.com.